NDP intercepts early draft of Biden Trudeau meeting agenda. You won't believe what we found. Emojis laughing, crying. And we have some sort of a document with the word draft in it with a red pen scratching things out. Yep, nope. LOL, who made this up? Er, not my responsibility. Oh my, I don't know. I don't know if this is real draft or not. I have no idea whose pen marks these are. But it's definitely coming from the federal NDP's verified Twitter account. And believe me, folks, people are not buying this. What in the actual fuck is this supposed to be? I was excited when Mr. Singh won the federal NDP leadership. But this kind of bullshit makes me question if he's the best man for the job. Someone else. This is childish and potentially illegal. You've got the presidential seal without authorization. Stop giving them ammunition. Stop with the American style politics. Oh boy. This is coming from the official NDP Twitter account. Wow, rock bottom and basement. Very disappointing. I cannot think of a setting, a professional setting, where this would be deemed acceptable. So much for the NDP being a viable alternative. Hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. It is February 23rd, 2021. I'm sitting here in my living room, which is also my campaign headquarters, because we're having a provincial election here in Newfoundland and Labrador. As you can see by the signs behind me, I am a candidate for the NDP, the provincial NDP, and we've been working very hard during what has been a very bizarre and unique election. We are trying very hard here. Ottawa, Mr. Singh, we are really trying hard to build a respected, credible, provincial NDP brand here in Newfoundland and Labrador. It is very tough when our federal counterparts are putting out asinine, stupid tweets like that. Come on, folks. Someone needs to explain what the heck that was all about. Apologize for the stupidity and fucking fire someone, because that is absolutely ridiculous. Sorry for the profanity, but I've worked too hard. My team has worked too hard. Allison Coffin's team has worked too hard to flush our provincial election down the toilet. Andrew Fury, so desperate for power, he called an early, early election in the midst of a global pandemic. And his friend Bruce Chalk, the chief electoral officer, canceled in-person voting. It's all over the news. Ottawa, you've probably seen and heard what's going on out here. We can't afford to screw this up. These are important times in the world, especially here in Newfoundland and Labrador. Grow up, will ya? I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Thanks for watching my video. Newfoundland and Labrador. Don't let Ottawa's stupidity negatively impact or influence the good work, the good message we've put out as a provincial party. Because I strongly believe in what we stand for. $15 minimum wage, better dental care, better health care, better help for seniors, better help for students. We're looking out for the people that the other parties take for granted. And I hope you all know that. I don't know what else to say.